This is Martin Carlyle with Got to Learn Libc from Pico CTF 2018. This program gives you the address of some system calls. Can you get a shell? You can find the program here on the shell server, and we get source code. Let's take a look at that source code. It looks like it's going to print out some addresses of various functions in the program, and also it'll print out this useful string, bin sh. And then it's got the same vuln where it reads a string into a buffer on the stack. That's 148 big. Okay, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is try to figure out where the return address is on the stack. So I'll go ahead and open that up over here in the shell. And I'm going to run it in GDB. Um, but before that, I'm going to make a file for myself. So I'll say Python print, and I'll do, so there's a buffer size of 148, so I'll do 148 A's, and then I'll do my alphabet. Okay. Great, so now I have a file containing that. And we'll run vuln. OK, so that crashed, which is good. And I have 54F4E4D. So I'll look at an ASCII table. And 50, so that's P. So P O and an M are where my return address is going to be. So I can verify that. Perfect, so I've got the 5151, so my cues are exactly where the return address is going to be. Now I'd like that return address to call system, which would let me run any command I want. System is a program in libc. And so I'm going to have it print out for me the address of system. OK, so I'll just say break system. And we can see that system is at F75-3940. And that's great. But if I run this program again, you'll see that 760VC30, the address of write has moved. And so that's going to probably mean the address of system has moved. So this time it's F7608940. So what I'm going to need to do here is I'm actually going to need to interact with this in a way where I find out the address of write and base the address of system off of that. Now you'll note that the distance between write and system is going to be the same each time. Actually, the last digits of the address are the same because of the way that it lays this out in memory randomly by adjusting just the top bits of the address. OK. So that's going to be important. And then what else is going to be important is I want to have that system here. I'll have a fake return address. And then I need the address of the useful string. All right, so we'll quit out of that again. And in order to do this, I'm going to write a Python program. And I'm going to use a library called Pwn Tools. And so what Pwn Tools is going to allow me to do is write Python that interacts nicely with the program. Now, Pwn Tools is fortunately already installed on the shell server here. And you can Google it and read about its documentation. Well, that's interesting, and they appear to be down right now. Usually that website is up, and you can read about its documentation. 
Here's their GitHub link. And so this is a toolkit that was specifically designed for doing CTFs. Like I said, it's going to make it relatively easy for me to interact with the program. And so I've already written something here that's going to do this, and I'll walk you through that. So Pwn Tools is in this library Pwn. We're going to import everything from that library. Then we're going to interact with the process vuln in this folder on the shell server. We'll read until it says write, and then we're going to read the rest of the line, and that'll be the address of write as a string. It's in hexadecimal, so we convert that to a number. We keep reading until we get to useful string, and then we read the address of that string as well. So I'll put maybe these things side by side so you can see that. So as we look at the program, you'll see it reads until the word write, and it reads the rest of the line as an address. It reads until it sees useful string, and it reads the rest of the line as an address, converting those to hexadecimal values into numbers. I took two values that I got for the address of write and system out of GDB, and I'm going to use that to determine how far away write is from system. So here was a sample address for write, a sample address for system. I'll take the address for write in this execution, subtract that difference. I'll get my address for where I'm guessing system is. I figured out that there should be 160 A's, followed by this is where my Q's were in the string. And then I'm going to have a dummy return address. And then I'm going to put the address of the useful string then I'll be able to presumably be in a shell and I will CD to the folder where the problem is and I'll do an LS. So let's see how that works. So here I am, you'll see it's run that, it's opened a shell, it's CD to the folder where the problem was, it did the LS, I can see there's flag.txt. So I can look at that, syscalls are useful and I have my flag.